data speeds of up to 43 terabits per second and spanning over 15,000 kilometers. This is the Hawaii Cable Network. But here's the thing. This isn't just about connecting continents. It's about transforming lives across some of the most remote regions on the planet. Have you ever wondered what it takes to build a lifeline under the ocean? One that carries our emails, video calls, and streaming data across thousands of kilometers. Jerry here, and I'm excited to take you on this journey into the depths of the Pacific. Two things blow my mind about this project. How seamlessly it connects isolated islands to the rest of the world, and how it handles challenges that seem impossible to overcome. But there's one thing that makes me wonder. How fragile are these cables lying at the mercy of the ocean's unpredictable forces? Let's dive into the Hawaii Cable's role in building a truly connected world and the lessons it teaches us about the future of global communication. Before the Hawaii Cable, the Pacific Oceans faced a digital divide. Most relied on satellites or aging undersea cables like the Southern Cross Cable laid in 2000. These older systems offered limited bandwidth and exorbitant costs. Satellite connections were slow with latencies exceeding 600 milliseconds, far too high for modern demands like video conferencing and real-time online gaming. The high latency made even basic tasks like sending emails or downloading files a frustratingly slow experience. For example, in American Samoa, the average internet speed was less than 5 megabits in 2015, and prices were steep, with users paying hundreds of dollars per month for minimal data plans. The Hawaii Cable, which became operational in July 2018, changed everything. With a total capacity of 43 terabits per second, it dramatically increased available bandwidth while slashing latency to under 120 milliseconds between Australia and the United States. Now, a message from Sydney to Los Angeles can travel directly across the Pacific in milliseconds, bypassing slower alternative routes. This new infrastructure has empowered users with high-speed, low-cost internet revolutionizing communication across the region. The Hawaii Cable Route spans over 15,000 kilometers, weaving through some of the most challenging terrains on Earth. It starts in Sydney, Australia, crossing the Tasman Sea to reach Mongafai Heads, New Zealand, just north of Auckland. From there, it branches out to Pongo Pongo, American Samoa, then heads northeast to Kapolei, Hawaii, before its final leg connects to Pacific City, Oregon, USA. Along this path, it crosses deep ocean trenches, undersea volcanoes, and dynamic currents. A true feat of engineering. But how did it all begin? The story of the Hawaii Cable started in 2012 with an ambitious goal. To bridge the Pacific's digital divide and create a high-capacity connection for underserved regions. By 2014, Hawaii Submarine Cable LP had partnered with industry leader TE Subcom to turn this vision into reality. The first major step was conducting marine surveys which began in 2050. Using advanced sonar and mapping technologies, engineers charted a route that avoided geological hazards like undersea ridges, earthquake zones, and ecologically sensitive areas. These surveys laid the groundwork for a safe, efficient, and durable cable system. In 2016, construction commenced. The TE Subcom manufactured the cable, building its fiber optic cores with multiple protection layers. These included waterproof insulation, steel sheathing, and outer armor to shield it from the ocean's harshest conditions. Each kilometer of this cable weighed approximately 10 kilograms and was designed to endure pressures found at depths of up to 8,000 meters. Specialized cable-laying ships like the CS Responder took on the monumental task of deploying the cable. Loaded with massive spools weighing thousands of tons, these vessels meticulously unspoiled the cable onto the ocean floor. The ships were equipped with GPS-guided systems to ensure precise placement, avoid obstacles, and maintain the integrity of the cable. One of the most formidable challenges was the Tonga Trench, located near American Samoa. This trench plunges over 10.8 kilometers below the surface, making it one of the deepest points in the world. To survive the immense pressure, more than 1,000 times atmospheric pressure, engineers reinforced the cable's core with high tinsel steel 
and hermetically sealed it to prevent water ingress. To ensure signal strength across such vast distances, repeaters were installed every 50 to 70 kilometers along the route. These devices amplify the optical signals traveling through the fiber optic cores, maintaining data integrity and speed. Without these high-tech boosters, the signals would weaken long before reaching their destination. The project also faced logistical challenges in specific areas. For example, around American Samoa, the cable had to cross coral reefs and navigate busy shipping lanes. Engineers employed dynamic routing adjustments to avoid environmental damage and operational risks. The deployment phase required constant monitoring and precise coordination, spanning 27 months start to finish. Finally, in July 2018, the Hawaii cable became operational, delivering high-speed connectivity to millions. TE Subcom's unparalleled expertise, having deployed over 100,000 kilometers of submarine cables globally, was critical in overcoming the challenges of this complex project. The Hawaii cable's final design is not just a technological marvel, but also a forward-looking system. It supports future scalability, meaning it can handle the growing demand for data without requiring a complete overhaul. From Sydney to Oregon, this undersea superhighway represents the pinnacle of modern engineering and connectivity. The Hawaii Cable is part of a vast, interconnected network of submarine cables that span the globe. These cables carry 99% of international data, making them the backbone of the internet. Without them, the world as we know it, streaming videos, online shopping, instant messaging would come to a standstill. But how is that working underwater in origin? Let's take a closer look at the technology that powers the Hawaii Cable. How does it carry data across 15,000 kilometers of ocean, maintaining speed so fast you'd think the information was traveling at the speed of light? Well, that's because it practically is. At its core, the Hawaii Cable relies on advanced fiber optic technology. Imagine a thread thinner than a human hair, but instead of carrying physical materials, it transmits light pulses. Each pulse represents data, whether it's a movie you're streaming or a message you're sending. These tiny glass fibers are bundled together, protected by layers of insulation, steel, and waterproof materials to survive the harsh conditions of the seabed. When you send data, it's converted into light signals by a device called a laser transmitter. These signals race through the glass fibers at nearly the speed of light. Along the way, the light weakens, which is where repeaters come in. Placed every 50 to 70 kilometers, these devices boost the signal, ensuring it remains strong throughout its journey. Think of repeaters as the pit stops in a long car race, refueling the system so it can keep going. The real magic lies in how these signals are decoded. At the receiving end, detectors convert the light pulses back into electrical signals, translating them into the information you see on your screen. All of this happens in milliseconds, making it possible for you to have a video call with someone halfway across the globe without noticeable delay. But here's the kicker. This system doesn't just carry one data stream at a time. Using a process called wavelength division multiplexing, multiple data streams can travel simultaneously, each assigned to its own wavelength of light. It's like having several highways running parallel each carrying its own set of vehicles without interfering with the others. This is how the Hawaii Cable achieves its impressive capacity of 43 terabits per second. Now, how does the Hawaii Cable stack up against other major submarine cable systems? Let's compare it to the Two Africa Cable and Marea, two of the most prominent undersea networks. While all these cables are designed to improve global connectivity, each has its own unique features. The Two Africa Cable, for example, is focused on connecting Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. It's the longest submarine cable in the world, stretching over 45,000 kilometers. Marea, on the other hand, is a transatlantic cable connecting Virginia in the US to Bilbao, Spain. It boasts incredible speeds of up to 160 terabytes per second, making it one of the fastest. So where does Hawaii shine? Its strength lies in its targeted approach. By connecting Australia, New Zealand, American Samoa, Hawaii, and the US, it creates a dedicated line for the Pacific. Unlike broader systems, Hawaii was designed specifically to meet the needs of these regions. It's also highly scalable, 
meaning it can be upgraded to handle future data demands without requiring a complete overhaul. Another standout feature is its redundancy. The cable's design ensures that if one segment faces issues, the system can reroute data through alternative pathways, minimizing downtime. This makes it one of the most reliable systems for the Pacific region. Installing the Hawaii cable wasn't just an engineering challenge, it was an environmental one too. The Pacific Ocean is home to some of the most diverse marine ecosystems in the world, and laying a cable across it required careful planning to minimize environmental impact. Before construction began, teams conducted thorough environmental assessments. They mapped out sensitive areas such as coral reefs and seagrass beds, and adjusted the cable route to avoid these regions. In areas where the cable had to cross ecosystems, specialized techniques were used to gently bury it beneath the seabed, reducing disruption to marine life. Even during the development process, environmental considerations were top of mind. Ships were equipped with advanced systems to monitor the cable's placement, ensuring it didn't damage the ocean floor. The Hawaii cable isn't just a piece of infrastructure. It's a symbol of connection and possibility. It bridges physical and digital divides, bringing the world closer together. As we look to the future, it's exciting to think about what other innovations lie ahead in the world of submarine cables. For now, the Hawaii cable stands as a testament to what can be achieved when technology, ingenuity, and a commitment to progress come together. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with your thoughts or questions.